The add-on we're going to talk about today is called Face Cutter. It is a modeling tool made to ease the operation of cutting ungons. You might be wondering what's the difference between this tool and the usual edge loop or knife tool in Blender and how it makes cutting the faces easier. Well, simply it has some additional features and advantages. It gives you the ability to cut perpendicular lines or rotate them on a selected face by defining snapping points. You need to set the number of divisions or snapping points, then cut by lines. In simpler words, it allows cutting the faces not only vertically or horizontally, but you can also rotate the cut line by angle after defining two points on the face. And let me clarify something here. By saying points, I don't mean vertices only, but also any point that you can create along the face edges to link them and create the yellow highlighted lines. It also has the ability to cut through the whole mesh. Another additional advantage is that it makes it distinguish from the old cutting tools because this tool works with different angons as well. Along with plenty of other functionalities including fill lines to quickly fill all the snapping points with lines. Also align a cut line by any nearby edge which is great. A full width mode to use a full side instead of a small edge segment. Multiple cutting lines based on different edges. Symmetric copy to copy all the cutting lines to another side. Also the ability of cutting corners with a 45 degree shortcut. Plus the ability to cut on multiple non-planar faces and more. And I'd like to mention as well some of the other functionalities that were added through the recent updates such as an easy edit mode to make snapping points show up. Where you can simply click the point to create the cut line. This mode replaced the old method of making two points lines. Also now, you can press the spacebar key to go back to the edge selecting stage which is easier to add a cut line from different edges. Overall, I think the face cutter add-on is not the most impressive thing we have seen but it can be very useful for general modeling. What it can do can actually be done using the edge tool and the knife tool but not with the same accuracy, speed and flexibility. For example, when you want to cut faces with different normals or non-planar you need to cut each face individually when using the old tools. But with the face cutter add-on, you can cut them all at once. I hope you found this video useful. If you are interested in the add-on, you can find the necessary links in the description. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.